Hey folks, this is Dick O'Hearnton, and welcome back to the Council. So at the end of last episode, we'd managed to break into Mortimer's private study slash lab slash I have no idea what's going on in here. It's very weird. So the first thing we did is we poked around a bunch of his maps. He has just things going on all over the world, manipulating everybody. It's really quite crazy. Then, back here, we have the even slightly weirder spot where he's got research equipment, and alchemy stuff, and tarot, which surprises me quite a bit, as a man of science. So, that was all very weird. So, we've taken a look at everything, so let's go ahead and let's head back out. Hopefully. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? Is it not the same combination? Uh... Whoops. Okay. Well, hold on a second. These are just opposite each other, right? So, I should just add five. I don't remember what the combination was. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me uh, check the last episode quick. Okay, so the combination was 1191. So, this should be... Um... Or wait, these numbers are upside down. So... This is 9. So 9... Um... 4... 9... Nine, is that right? Guess let's this find out. like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Yes, it is. I already figured this out. I'm smart. Go ahead and, um, lower the lever. Whoa, whoa. The grid closes a bit more every time I enter a wrong date. I'd, I'd better not mess up again. Whoa. It seem to be working. Okay. Okay, so I have this backwards here. All right, well, in that case, 1191. Right? Um, wait, this would be six. Why? Dumb. Very dumb. Okay. This is right, right? So from the other side, it would be one, one, nine, one, which looks like six, six, four, six. Okay. Uh, don't screw it up. Please don't screw it up. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Yeah, I know. Oh God, please be right. Actually, that doesn't look right. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is supposed to be a, a six, which is actually a nine. There we go, six, six, four, six. That's obnoxious that they're kind of upside down and backwards. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. All right, let's give it a try. Seriously? Seriously? I must have had him backwards or something. Son of a... I really hate it when I figure out a puzzle and then cock it up on execution. Stuck shit. That wasn't even like a hard rat. puzzle. That was trivial. I just had a... I think... You know what I bet I did? I bet I had the four in the wrong position. Crap. By the way, I could totally fit through that grate. Yeah, look how wide that grate is. So oh, hello. Coming. Please don't let it be Mortimer. Right? Who is it? Deliberately avoiding me. Four years ago, I was his favorite. But nowadays, I have to ask for an audience with his lord. Really? It's Peru. Um, no, Mr. I want Peru. some help. It's Mr. Deriche. I'm sort of trapped behind this painting. What are you playing help at, God here, damn please. it? How can I open it? There's a pedal under Lord Mortimer's desk. Can you see it? There's no... Hang on. Yes. Good. Now press it. Yeah, yeah. This could be interesting. 
wonder if this you will let me make an alliance with them. A frame with numbers. Yes? You have to turn them to set the combination. Obviously, which was 1191. Right? Yes. 1191. Now they've got me super paranoid. <gasps> Yay! Nice. Well, well, well. Poking our nose into Mortimer's little secrets, are we? No, no, yes. You do surprise me. It's not what you're thinking. I'll explain everything. No, you will not, sir. It has nothing to do with me, and by the way, I never even saw you. So, I'll be on my way now. Thanks again. Um... <laughs> Frankly, I owe him. I'm indebted to you. I won't forget this. Yeah. Goodbye. Interesting. That'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I wonder... I've wasted enough time. I better get moving if I want to find my mother. All right. Well, I found a way out. Kinda. Not really. Find the origin of the sword left by her mother. Okay, so it's a stone sword, and we got the hint that it had been outside for a long time. So let's try to head out into one of the courtyards. Yeah. Yeah. Had a strange conversation. Alright. Sounds good. Hey, we got a level. Yay. Items found. Yay. Okay, four available points. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay, let me take a look at these here. Alright, so my question is, do I need to crank up some skills, or should I spread my points out kind of all over the place? So these require a stupid number of points. Nine... 10, 11, 10, 9. On the other hand, I could get, say, Diversion for one point because I already have a book that gives us one. Um, and Linguistics, too, actually. And these would give me more dialogue options. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then one available point. All right, what should I sink it into? Conviction? Nah. Politics? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not. I sure hope it is. Okay, and books. So now... Okay, so the problem I'm running into here is that one point in anything does not help. Because I need at least like three or four points. So I guess let's just open kind of random ones. Manipulation. Oh, that's right. Some of these it won't let me open. I don't know why. Uh, uh, logic. Sure. All right. Hello. This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right. I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. Correct. That is true. All right. Let's take a look at the map quick. So we need to head downstairs, and then outside. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Hello. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. Oh, uh, we're going to spy for a second. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? Spears? I must have brought him the first one 20 odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. What? I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur oh, hi. De Why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? I was just looking at this painting. I I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. Of course you didn't. <laughs> so, my son, what can we do for you? I'd like to know what you guys were talking about. I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. 
Um, should we fake it? Uh, let's fake it. You brought spears as well, then? What? Did Mortimer ask you to bring him holy spears, too? Maybe. Yes, but I thought I was the only one. How many of them have you brought, then? Eighteen, you know. Whoa. Any relic even remotely to do with them, in fact. Eighteen spears? How many of them exist in all? No one knows. Especially as there is only one authentic one. Ah. That all adds to the mystery, don't you think? Well, uh, please leave us, monsieur. His eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. Of course. Interesting. Very interesting. So, is he looking for the spear that pierced the side of Christ? That comes up on a fairly regular basis. With regards to crazy people and or deep conspiracies and or both. Interesting. Replace them all with forgeries too, huh? So, can I go outside here now? I don't know where I'd be able to go for it. Is it the, the court or is it going to be over here? This is... that's going to be locked, but I'll talk to him quick. I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. Fair enough. Um, let's just leave. I'm not going to ask him about the sword. Not that dumb. Alright, so let's head on out. So it looks like we'll be heading out front. Let me look at the map again really quick. Because we don't have any other exits we've seen. The dining hall. But that's not interesting. Okay, so we're going to head all the way down and turn right a couple times. Okay. Off we go. Look for things I haven't Son touched yet. Roland. Roland feels his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Okay. That was the kind of stupid comment that I would make. I don't know what this says. Um, reserve or on reserve or something from Godoy? Hmm. I'd be interested if one of you could translate that for me. Yeah, outside. That's where we want to go. Oh, hello. Should we talk to people on the way out? Yes. Let's. Is everything all right, my young friend? Um... No, no, Wonderful. we're fine. Isn't that lovely? Well, see you later. <laughs> Good talk. I feel like we're really connected here. I just don't want to tip my hand. Like, I went through a lot of work to get this clue. And I don't want to give anyone else, you know, possible information. Right, out front. If we're allowed to step outside. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Oh, wait. No, no, this is the right spot. Any chance that we can go outside for a few minutes? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. You want to unlock this door? So I wonder if you could help me out. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, oh, son I of was a... wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. We talked about what this a long time ago. Require? Um, yeah, never mind. Uh, is that really our only way outside? I thought we had another door. Let's take a look at this sword again super quick. A stone sword with moss on it. Right, but how do I get outside? Doors, check. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Okay. Well, maybe there was something outside by the dining room? Yeah, pretty though it is. No statues. Alright. Oh, is this a door? Aha! Perfect. Alright, let's go check it out. 
Hello. Let's go take a look around before I get too carried away. You don't look like you were carrying a sword. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Yep. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. The state the stone of the statue is in reminds me of the sword. It does. I'll bet my boots this is where Mother wanted to lure Mortimer. Just need to know why. Is it really the first one that we've looked at? Um, okay, let's translate the plaque. I guide the sword that would kill the monster. That's weird. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She yep. was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage if he defeated the monster. She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find his way back through the labyrinth, which was famous for being unsolvable. Mm -hmm. But oh, hello. once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. What a jerk. Turns out heroes are not what they once were. Well. Let's see. Um, a crack as long as my finger. What happens if we stick our sword in there? Just out of curiosity. And what's going to happen if, if I've got it wrong? That's true. Can I have my sword back? Ariadne. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'd like my Trust sword back, me. please. Yes, thank you. Okay. So let's follow our way through the labyrinth. Here's the famous Ariana's thread, thanks to which, if I remember rightly, Theseus avoided getting lost in the labyrinth. Correct. We just had that conversation. Um, there's Peru. Should I talk to him or not? Let's talk to him. Or. Or. No, I'm a little embarrassed. No, let's talk to him. Okay, what's the worst that could happen? Well, Monsieur de Richet. Hello. What brings you here? Um. Oh, I just, okay. I'm not gonna, I don't think I want to use any of these, do I? So do we know anything about him? Let me look really quick here. He's immune to questioning. So we can ignore that. Let's spend some points. To tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about you. It's rare for guests to wander about ah. the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I can believe as many I'll be as... leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Be seeing you. All right. Jeez. Okay, um... Tell me, aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed a cat, Monsieur de Richet. True. I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing if I didn't already know the consequences. Oh. See you later. What do you mean by consequences? You seem exhilarated by all this. But if you continue down that path, you'll end up selling your soul to him too. I need my soul. Well, I warned you. Good luck to you, Monsieur. I use my soul every day. That was interesting. Okay, so now we know a little more about him. Okay, that was strange. Okay. Hold on a second. I just want to look over here. I got to look for stuff. Is there any stuff sitting around? No. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I should have asked him whether or not he was afraid of Mortimer. That's an interesting question all by itself. Oh, hello. Okay, that's mildly inconvenient. Uh, okay. Oh, free stuff. Or not. Okay, how do I get over there? I hate hedge mazes. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, what if I put that sword back? Ariadne. If like, let's see. Does that weird little section move or something? I like how it's like thrust a sword, 
like any random sword you've got. Like, you know, whatever. Like, you know, if you have a sword in your pocket, you could just try that one, or maybe the other one. No. Did that move anything else around here? In this stupid hedge maze? Did I mention I don't like hedge mazes? I don't think that did anything, unfortunately. Huh. Okay. Let's grab our sword again. Ariadne. Let's try something else. I agree. Let's try something else. So there's other doors. Can I get over there somehow? There's not a door back here. No. Okay, I just spent like four or five minutes wandering around like an idiot. But, here we go. Let's continue following our thread. Good kitty. Probably. Probably good and probably a kitty. Oh, hello. Okay, now I gotta get through to that side. Right, and... Here's our thread. Okay, so far so good. This is pretty. Hello. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Being pretty. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. You're a suspicious man. Oh yeah, I see the handprint. Hold on though. Let's look at other things first. Um. Read it. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. All right, let's examine it. That's worth a point. Hmm. It looks like this slab moves. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a passageway underneath yep, it. Yep, you can tell it's a spiral staircase. Okay. That's probably what the sword is going to do. Or I can see that handprint, too. Just hold on a few minutes. Oh, a cult earth symbol. That's convenient. Okay. Thread. You're going this way. I realize I can poke at that, but I really want to see where this thread goes first. Wait. To here? Theseus, son of Aegeus. He's the one who slayed the Minotaur. Mm-hmm. And was kind of a jerk. Uh, let's remember the legend? I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. He killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. Mm -hmm. In short, yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. I get it. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. <laughs> um, notice a crack? Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. It's as long as a finger. I'd say between six and eight centimeters. Yep, this is going to be other option for where to put the sword. Let's hold on, though, just a moment. Um, should we translate it? Yeah, sure. Wrongly positioned. I am the blind hero. Hmm. I wasn't expecting an inscription like that. Me neither. Okay, I so mother managed to I bet enigma. if we duck back over here that the handprint's not going to work until I put the sword inside the right person. But let's check anyway. Let's check the obvious hand scanner. Except it's obviously not a hand scanner. What is that? It's like a sort of opening mechanism. This guy sucks at keeping secrets. Is that? Do you see like that thing in the in the uh, middle? Let's let's uh, let's study the mechanism. Knowing Mortimer, I bet it's booby trapped. Uh huh. There's a little hole at the fingers. Yep. Pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. And I. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Okay. Well. Well. Let's try stabbing Theseus. I got a 50 50 shot here. I think that's actually going to be the right one, though. Uh, wrong way. Sorry. Hold on. Theseus, come here, buddy. Actually, 
there anything over here I can look at quick? Oh yeah, hello. Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. Hello. Asterion was a son of Pasiphae and Minos, or rather the result of a curse put on Minos. Minos was punished for betraying Poseidon. Of course, as strangely it often happens, it wasn't he who was punished, it was his wife. Hmm. She had to mate with a bull, no less. From that union, Asterion was born, who everyone knows as a famous minotaur. Rejected by Minos, he was shut up in the labyrinth so he could never leave. And, as if that wasn't bad enough, he died by the hand of a hero desperate to restore his reputation. Huh. Think about the meaning of the myth, huh? Um, let's use some of our Carmelite water. Technically, Asterion is the victim of the story because he's described as a child cast out from birth. Born from an extramarital union because of the errors of his father, he was treated as an outcast all his life. And he died as innocently as he was born. A tragic story, as the Greeks knew how to do so well. True. Should we spend more points on translating things? Ugh. The statue has a crack in it. Examine it. The crack is thin and about as long as a finger. I should be able to thrust in my sword. Great, so this gives me a third option. I am the cursed child. Let's go. So, I have a choice to make here. Carmelite water. Oh, convenient. So I have a choice to make here. Which one of you three is the right place to put the sword? So this guy already has two swords in him, which is suggestive. So the question is, does the thread ending here at Theseus mean that he's the right one to stick the sword into? Or is this, you know, kind of symbolic of, well not symbolic, a, a literal, this is how you get through to this end of the uh, labyrinth. Crap. I think that it makes the most sense to put the sword in him, because he's already got two, so... I hope this is right. Asterion. This statue has All right. Christ. Right. We'll soon see. Please do something obvious. No. All right. Well, I hope I didn't cock this up. We're about to find out. Oh, this is going to go so badly if I'm wrong. Because you know it's going to poison or something on it. You just, you just know it is. Of course it's going to. Things like this always have poison on them. Wish I was about a foot taller, by the way. Oh, here. There's some statues I didn't see. Pasiphae. Daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. Mm hmm Ah, uh, remember the mythology? I seem to recall that her fate was not something you'd want. She was punished for the sins of her husband. She had to mate with the sacred bull of Poseidon. Yeah. Nine months later, she gave birth to Asterion, better known as the Minotaur. <laughs> it's crazy to see to what extent women have always been mistreated. Political commentary. When they're harpies, gorgons, and other witches, they become victims. Hmm. Uh, notice something. She has no cracks. That's interesting. I can't keep spending all these all right. points. Well, let's continue anyways. Like, we're not going to have any left. Alright. <sighs> Shit. Please don't be wrong. Please don't be wrong. Let's press it. Ugh. Can't you, like, poke it with a stick or something? Uh. Nope. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Either I'm imagining things, or my hand was pricked. Right. It had poison Oh wait, I've on got it. Uh, I've got uh, head. golden elixir. I feel hot. All right. Well, hopefully that cured me. Mysterion. You know. Yeah. It's going into you. Which I should have just gone with. 
Because that's Theseus. where the thread ends. I should have just done it. Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. Let's try not to get poisoned again, eh? Yeah. That's the sound I would make if I was doing it. Alright, let's try this again. Please be right this time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? Okay. Theseus. Let's try something else instead. Yes, let's. Back we go. Now you're the last person I have to stab, so don't screw this Ariadne. up, huh? Let's see. All right. All right. All right, take three. Surely this is correct. Don't call me Shirley. <sighs> Come on. You're my last hope. Really? Really? So... Did I miss somebody I could stab? Or was I not supposed to stab anybody? Okay. Well, I didn't see who this is back here. How do I get to you? Okay, who are you? Icarus. Yes. It is. Son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, they came unstuck and he fell to his death. <laughs> Pity. Um. Let's just remember the myth. If I remember rightly, Icarus was the son of Daedalus. He found himself confined to the labyrinth with his father after his father betrayed Minos. And his father's plan to escape from the labyrinth wasn't any more successful. Man, that kid was jinxed. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's keep going. So, I had three statues, all of which I've tested with the sword in them, all of which have not worked. Maybe I go with no sword? I don't know. Nowhere else around here, huh? Okay. Well, we could go with no sword and see if that operates any differently. Ariadne. That just seems Let's try something else. Silly. Unless it's one of the kitties, but I don't think so. Yeah, there's only these 3. Hmm. Is you do not have a hole in your chest. Let's just double check and make sure I'm not missing something stupid. Unless I need to find more swords. I guess maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. I still think it looks like this is where it should have been, but it's not. Okay, let me look around here a second. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Oh. What's this? Ooh, real jelly. Uh, let's just use that. 
Who are you? Minos. Ah! Son of Zeus in Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Well, this is going to be symbolic. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her threat. Yep. So this is hey, going to be there's a crack in uh, symbolic statue. of stabbing. Um, here, hold on a second here. Let's just translate this. This gesture sealed his fate. The crack is in the region of the heart. Yeah, so this is going to be uh, symbolic of stabbing Mortimer, I imagine. Maybe? Okay, this has to be it. This has to be it. <sighs> Come on, buddy. No stab, no stab. You got this. It's too bad my reflexes suck. Come on. <gasps> Yay! Look at this! We totally got this. Oh, that's phenomenal. Nice. Very nice. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and take a break. Tune in next time for the exciting staircase. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.